Okay, so today we're going to be working on this demo task. It's the codality missing number um, problem from lesson four. Uh, let's see. Um, pull up the lesson. Okay. Go to counting elements, and it's the final medium problem. So first we're going to solve it using... Um, built-in functionality from JavaScript. So I'm going to use the sort function. Return A minus B. All right, and then we're going to have a loop. So basically what I'm going to do, basically what this question is asking is, given an array of A of n integers, return the smallest positive integer greater than zero. That does not occur in A. For example, given A is equal to 1, 3, 6, 4, 1, 2, the function should return 5. Because there, if you were to order this and uh, iterate through it sequentially, there would be no 5. Let me show you. Um, so as you can see here, This is our array, and then if we were to put it, sort it, we would be left with 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So what we want is to be able to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Unfortunately, in this situation, you can't. Uh, so what we're going to do is find... Um, we're going to find a way to um, identify these missing numbers. And in the case where no number is missing to sequence, you'll just return the number after the largest number in the array. So uh, for example, given a is equal to 1, 2, 3, the function should return 4. Given a is equal to negative 1, negative 3, the function should return 1. For to write an efficient algorithm using the following assumption, n is an integer in the range of 1 to 100,000. And each element of an array is an integer within the range of negative 1 million to positive 1 million. So 1, we'll sort the array. 2, um, if um, we'll have a counter value variable that will track will track what positive number we should encounter next. If counter does not equal um, the current number, return counter. Okay, that is it put simply, and we have edge cases. No uh, positive numbers return one. Um, no missing numbers in sequence return um, largest number sequence of array plus one. Okay, so let's let i is equal to zero. i is less than a dot length. i plus plus. So what are our conditions? This is the loop we're going to loop through our sorted array because we sorted it right before, right? Put array in numeric order. So the first thing a condition we'll check is if a of i is greater than zero, right? Because we don't care if it isn't. Okay, so now we know that a of i is greater than zero. So counter plus plus. And we'll have a counter variable. Let counter equal zero. So automatically we'll use counter plus plus, right? 
So if a of i is not equal to counter, we increment it, right? Because that's the only situation, because we're starting to track at 1. However, if a of i is equal to counter, we just continue, right? Because there's nothing to check, and we should just go on to the next element because it's the correct value. And by having the a of i is not equal to counter, we take care of um, duplicate numbers in a sequence, right? And then if none of those conditions are met, we will return our counter. Now, there is the situation in which we go through the entire array, and we don't encounter uh, the value that we we're looking for. So our counter will increment, and then we'll return our counter. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So that should solve it. I sort of rushed this problem. Um, let's see how we do. It's O of n complexity because we only have one loop. And other than that, it's just if conditions. Okay, we got 100% and it passed all the performance checks. O of n of or O of n log n. And uh, yeah, so that is the missing integer problem. And the description of the question will be in the description below. That's it for now.